Great to see you and good morning. Good morning. First of all, just define for us, define for the layman what data exhaustion is, what we're talking about here, and how do businesses mitigate it? Yeah, this last wave of generative AI, uh, you know, chat GPT, large language models, really uh, it consumed a ton of data. Like just to kind of give people a, a frame of reference, a human may consume something on the order of a billion words in a lifetime. Okay, so these models consume 20, 30 trillion words, so 20,000 human lifetimes worth of, uh, worth of text. So basically data exhaustion is the concept that we've run out. You can comb the entire internet and you can't find any more. Humans have only generated so much content. How can that be, though? I mean, it doesn't make sense. I mean, are we actually, is it uh, the opposite, actually, too? We're just inundated, we're flooded with too much data? Well, too much data is, is actually more of a value statement, I think. Uh, when we look at having an inundation of, of data, you actually have to find the good information within that data. That's actually the hard part. So the, the sheer quantity is not really the problem. It's more finding actual signal within that data. Ah, okay. That makes more sense. So what is the risk if uh, companies don't... Uh, build in uh, the uh, mitigation systems and, and let's get, uh, and get to what Databricks has to offer t in order to avoid that risk. Well, what's the risk if they, if they fall behind the curve in terms of not refreshing the data, if you will? Well, I mean, really this is going to be your competitive edge, is how you use your data, uh, how you leverage the techniques of art artificial intelligence with your data. We call this concept data intelligence. Basically using your data to customize these capabilities. You can think of it as if I hire a smart new college grad, um, you know, they're, they're generically smart, but I need them to know my business. I need them to be uh, understanding my customers or my product, whatever it is. And really that's where the value starts to come in. So using uh, unique data from, from my business or, or sector for driving my products forward is really what it's about. How much of this is down to upskilling then? Well, I, I think upskilling can take on a few different forms. Obviously, we have the scientists who are building the new, uh, you know, the new breakthroughs and all of that. So, uh, but I think upskilling in terms of making data useful, finding those, the, that signal within the data, using that to actually modify the behavior of AI, that itself is a skill. Understanding how to filter data using tools like Databricks to actually make AI do what you need it to do.